In this example, we're going to look at how we can create an easy flip switch. Now here you can see I have an off and an on button. And simply clicking or tapping on it will toggle the two values. Switch over to my text view. You can see how we create it. Now this is actually using a data role of slider. Now slider is normally used as an input. However, when we apply it to a select statement and give it only two values, it works as a toggle switch or sometimes referred to as a flip switch to switch between two values. Usually these are going to be Boolean values where you can only have one of two values possible for an answer, such as yes, no, on, off, true, false, etc. However, what makes a flip switch even more powerful than a normal Boolean value is the fact that you can specify what these two values will be. So therefore you can specify both in the option as well as the option value what values you want to both display and send back to the server when the form is submitted. In this case, we're using on and off, but we could easily replace these with our own values. You'll notice that what displays does not have to be what's inside the value. When I switch back to my browser and reload, you can see that I have my space here. Now you may notice that we don't have a lot of space necessarily for all of our text. We have to be very careful when we choose the text that we want to display because you can see it's not necessarily going to show. You can see when we reload in this case that our text will now display because we've made for a smaller, more manageable label. And that's one thing we'll want to keep in mind if we use a flip switch. We could also make our flip switch a little bit smaller by using the data mini equals true, which is available on almost all of our form elements in jQuery mobile. Now, one thing that we might want to do is we also might want to move our label to be beside our flip switch instead of being on top of it. To do so, we're going to add a new div. The class UI field contain will allow us to put both of these elements on the same row. When we switch back and reload our form, you'll see that we now have our flip switch and the values on the same row. Therefore, it works a little bit easier if we don't want our user to have to scroll vertically so much. If you found this video tutorial helpful, please like and share it with others. If you want to keep up, with other videos that are coming out, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. That way you can get the most up-to-date information.